Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are doing great. For today's video, I'm doing another DIY room decor video. I feel like as soon as I upload a new room decor video, you guys seem to be asking for more, which is obviously a good thing because I like making videos that you guys like watching. Also, before I get into the video, I quickly wanted to update you guys about my charm shop because a lot of you guys have been asking me about it on when I'm launching and things like that. I will be launching it sometime in July. Probably mid-July, I haven't decided a date yet because I'm still making the charms. But as soon as I decide on a date, you guys will be notified on when I'm launching and things like that. And for those of you who missed out on my announcement, I will be selling my charms and they are 100% handmade. So if you want, you can go ahead to my website and you can sign up for updates and all that kind of stuff. With all that being said, I hope that you guys enjoy watching this video. If you do, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you are new to my channel, then if you could maybe click the subscribe button down below, that'd be very awesome. And let's get started. Okay guys, so for the first DIY, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own dry eraser board. For this, I'm using a cardboard cereal box, but you can use any kind of cardboard that you may have. Then I'm taking my pencil and I'm drawing an outline for Oscar's head. If you're wondering who Oscar is, it's just a character that I've made up because I have a naming problem. Next, I'm taking my pair of scissors and I'm going to cut it out. And by the way, you can make this board however big or small that you want. I just made mine like a normal size, I guess. It's not that big, but you can obviously make yours bigger if you want. Now I'm making an outline of a half circle like shape I want to say and this is where the dry eraser board is going to be. So I am leaving a bit of space because I want to make Oscar's face. So yeah, I'm just going to take my pair of scissors and cut that out as well. Now I'm going to take some acrylic paint and paint the entire thing with this peachy orange color. If you don't want to make a cat, you could totally make a dog, a panda, or maybe a frog, whatever you like. Moving on to the actual dry eraser board, you will be needing a sheet protector. And then I took some white cardstock and I cut out the same exact shape that we cut out earlier. I cut out the sheet protector according to the size that I want. Then I'm taking some glue and I'm going to glue on the sheet protector onto the cardstock. And if you don't want to use cardstock, you could totally use some regular paper for this as well. Here I'm applying some glue onto the edges and then I'm going to take Oscar's little outline that we made and I'm going to put that on top. Once you've glued everything in place, let it aside for about an hour so that the glue can dry completely. Finally, you want to draw on the details using some acrylic paint. You can also use markers for this, but I prefer using paint. So I'm drawing on the ears, then I'm going to make these like little spots. I'm going to make the eyes, the whiskers, the mouth, and all that kind of stuff. There is your completed Oscar dry eraser board. This is a very handy DIY to write down like your errands or if you want to remind yourself anything. Please don't mind my horrible handwriting. I wish I had better handwriting, but I don't. For the next DIY, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own pencil slash pen organizer. So I took a box and I'm drawing a panda outline. So I made the head and the ears. Then I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and I'm going to cut it out. I've had this box sitting in my closet for about like two years, I want to say. Maybe even three. I'm not even lying. And I got this box from my Clarisonic, I think. Anyway, here I'm taking my pair of scissors and I'm going to clean up the edges.
Even though the box was already white, I took some white acrylic paint and I did a thin layer of that. Then I'm taking some black acrylic paint and I'm going to make the panda details. So I'm making the ears, then I'm going to make the eyes, the mouth, and then I'm also going to make it some pink cheeks. Because I didn't like the inside of the box, I took some cardstock and I'm going to pop that in. If you want, you can glue it in, but mine fit in pretty well so I didn't have to use any glue. Ta-da! There is the completed Panda Pencil Organizer. Moving on to the third DIY, I'm going to be making a cloud pillow. For this, I'm using an old shirt that I got like three years ago, and it was on clearance by the way for like $10. I also made a cloud template, which I'm going to go ahead and pin down because this fabric is very slippery, so it's better to keep everything in place by using some pearl pins. This is kind of unnecessary, but I'm drawing a one inch outline around it so that I have enough room to sew it down. I'm taking my pair of scissors and I'm cutting it out. Here I'm taking my needle and some thread and I'm sewing it down. If you want, you could totally use a hot glue gun or fabric glue for this. I personally prefer sewing it down because I don't know. But you can use a hot glue gun or some fabric glue, whatever floats your boat. Also don't forget to leave an opening so that you can flip the pillowcase over and so that you can also stuff it. Now I'm taking some pillow stuffing which I got from an older pillow that I had and I'm going to stuff the entire pillow with it. Once that's done, you wanna close down the opening and now is the time to give it a cute face. So I took some felt and I cut out two circles for the eyes. I'm drawing on the smile with some black fabric paint and I'm also going to make the blush with some fabric paint as well. There is your completed cloud pillow. This one is probably my favorite. I think it's so so cute. For this final DIY, I'm going to be making a display stand. So I'm using a cardboard foam kind of material, but you can use regular cardboard as well. I'm making a circle and then I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and cut it out. I took some glittery washi tape and I folded it in two. I'm taking my hot glue gun and I'm going to glue it around the edges of the circle.
For the bottom part, I took this jar. You can use any jar, any glass that you may have, and I'm going to spray paint it silver. Finally, I'm taking my hot glue gun and I'm gluing the jar at the base of the circle. There is the final DIY and I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. Let me know in a comment down below which DIY was your favorite. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video.